Today we're showing you the ATEX drum tipper and it's a fully powered pneumatic model. So we have a pneumatic drive system using a tiller to drive the unit forward and backwards. We have pneumatic hydraulic lift with a lift ram and then the head assembly is a clamping head. So it uses hydraulic force to clamp the drum, lift it and then a hydraulic motor tips the drum. So every function of this machine is hydraulic and powered by air. And because the unit's used for an ATEX area, this is a flammable or explosive area, there's no electric components on the machine at all. So it's all powered by the air system. So to pick up this drum, we drive the unit forward. We just want to come forward and check our pads are in the center of the drum. So I'm going to creep forward a tiny bit more. Then when we're in the center, we press our clamp button. On the top of the control box, we have a pressure gauge, and this is showing us how much we're clamping the drum. So we need to clamp all the way up until the needle is in the green segment to say it's safe to lift. We're now going to press the lift button on our panel. We then drive forward towards our vessel, get in line, and then we can press our tip button. Once the drum's empty, we can reverse, bring the unit backwards, bring the drum back to the vertical. Just straighten that up slightly. And lower down. So the tiller's got the controls for forward and backwards, and the panel has all the controls for lifting, lowering, tipping, and our clamp system. We can only use one at a time, so when we're using the buttons on the rear panel, we need to not be using the tiller, so it's sort of one, one system at a time. Once the drum's on the floor, we press our unclamp. To unclamp the drum, we need to use two hands, and this is a safety feature. So we cannot unclamp the drum accidentally. We have to think about it using both hands and press unclamp at the same time. When we unclamp, the, the pressure needle showing us the clamp pressure goes all the way down to zero and then we know we've fully unclamped. So we need to unclamp until it goes down to zero on the gauge. We can then drive the unit backwards. We're ready to go and get another drum now. We're now going to pick up this plastic Mauser style drum. Again, driving forward. Coming to the front and checking our pads are in line with the drum. Pressing our clamp button. For softer plastic drums, on our pressure gauge we have a yellow segment and this is telling us to be cautious and to visually inspect a drum. So you will expect some uh, deformation of a plastic drum, but we want to make sure it's picked up securely. So we lift it slightly, making sure it's, it's off the ground, there's no slippage, the drum's very held well in the pads. We can then lift up a bit higher. It's a telescopic unit, so you can see a second set of channels coming out the top. This unit will tip drums at two and a half metres, but we also do a shorter version for uh, lower level tipping heights. Driving forward now again. Once we're in position, tiller in the up position, we're going to use the panel controls now, so we're tipping forward. Good to drive forward a little just to make sure we don't spill any. Make sure the drum's fully over the vessel. If you're using drums with taps in, so you may have a tap that you want to open at the front, we can also fit this unit 
with a weighing system. So on the rear display here, you can see the weight of a drum and monitor how much you're decanting uh, from the drum into your process vessel. We also offer this unit in stainless steel for food or pharmaceutical companies. So move the unit a bit further back. You can then bring it back to the vertical and lower down. We'll now show you a close-up of the panel and all the controls on the rear of the unit. We're now looking at the rear tiller of this unit. For safety reasons and to meet the latest regulations, the tiller cannot be used in the vertical position or in the ho fully horizontal position. So when we're in this position, if we press the buttons, nothing will happen. When we're in the operating range, the tiller can be used. On the back of the tiller, we have our forward button and our reverse button, and we also have an emergency stop button. If we press the emergency stop, this will cut all power to the unit. If we twist it clockwise, it will reset. On the top, we also have a horn, so we can use this to warn pedestrians or other people ahead of the machine. We'll now show you the rest of the panel. On the rear panel, you'll see on the left side of the screen, we have a red air line, which is connected to the control box. This is powering all the pneumatic hydraulic functions, and the unit must have an air line connected to allow the unit to drive, lift, clamp and tip. This unit's going to France, it's a CE marked machine. You'll notice all the labels are in French. On the left hand side, we have our lift and lower buttons. So the green is for lift and blue for lower. We then have our tip forward and tip backwards button. And then on this right hand side, we have our clamp controls. In the centre, we have our clamp button, so we can clamp a drum by pressing it with one finger. You'll notice when we clamped fully that this pressure needle at the top of the panel moved up into the green segment. For steel drums, it must be in the green segment before we can lift. And for fibreboard or plastic drums, we can lift in the yellow caution area but we must visually inspect the drum and ensure it's clamped adequately before lifting. It's very normal for this needle to settle down slightly after clamping as the temperatures in the system balance out. If at any point we need to top up the clamp pressure gauge, we can press the clamp button again and the needle will increase as I'll show you now. To unclamp a drum, we have two buttons, one on the left and one on the right. This is for safety, so we cannot accidentally unclamp a drum. To unclamp it, we need to use two hands. So with our two fingers, we come along and press both buttons at the same time. We need to hold the buttons until the pressure gauge goes all the way down to the zero position. We also have a limit switch safety system on the head, so we cannot unclamp a drum at height because the unit is disabled from clamping when a drum is raised over a certain level. We also have an emergency stop button at the top. We press this down to cut all functions and rotate it clockwise to reset. All the controls on this rear panel can be used when the drive is disabled. So our tiller needs to be either fully horizontal or fully vertical to allow these functions to work.